and I understand you had a lot to do with uh, with Vince McMahon getting into wrestling as an actual wrestler because he had his first match here in Memphis. In Memphis, yeah, yeah. Um, one day we were sitting around Vince instead of working at the office. I had an office there, and Pat had an office there. Everybody had an office at Titan Towers, but. Vince had us all come to his house, and we would uh, we would meet around his dining room table, and that's where he would do the booking. And we'd go to a little market and get ham sandwich, and you know it was just that kind of situation. The four of us: Vince, Pritchard, uh, Pat Patterson, and myself. And one time after the booking meeting broke up, uh, Vince and I are sitting there talking, and he says something. And I said, uh, do you try to be a heel? And he said, what do you mean? And I said, you just are the most natural heel I've ever seen. I said, we're raking our brain trying to figure out who you can get as the heel for your company. You ought to be the you ought to be your own talent. And he said, Are you ribbing me or are you serious? I said, I'm dead serious, Vince. You are natural. And he said, I don't know how to do it. I said, let's do it in Memphis. And Let's make interviews because 90% of the wrestling business, as you know, are the interviews. I'll produce them. We'll send them to Memphis. You'll be over when you get there. You can work into, you know, you can start off managing and then you can work into a match. And so we did. And he loved it. He was probably the most fun he ever had in the business. And, and you know, everybody knows how good he really became as a talent with uh, the Stone Cold Steve Austin angle. I believe, from what I understand, the ratings still go up a little bit whenever he appears, even to this day, oh, on yeah. the television show. Yeah, he is... Uh, he is a natural, and and he finally confided confided in me that it had been a lifetime dream. 